so we will be starting our discussion that is in this particular topic we'll see how the circular current loop also acts as a magnetic dipole but first let us see what we already know we have derived in our previous video that b for a current carrying loop for a current carrying loop the magnetic field say at a distance of x the magnetic field on the axis at a distance of x was given by mu naught i times into r square and this was whole divided by 2 into x square plus r square 3 by 2 so this is what we knew so far now let us say suppose this was your r this was your r now if i consider a figure somewhat like this if this is your magnetic if this is a ring current carrying loop this distance r and if i consider this distance x this distance is my this point this particular distance is my x so we know x is very very much greater than r so in the denominator if you see this is the r square term x square plus r square so if this is so much larger in value that we can easily ignore the x square plus r square this part r square plus x square r square can easily be ignored so now what you have is mu naught i r square into 2 x cube so this is what we have now this is your loop this is your loop this is the area oh sorry this is the radius r so if this is the radius r what is the area area of the loop area of the loop was given by we know pi r square that is pi r square so this is your area of the loop so if you include a pi over here then we will have b is equal to which gets modified into mu naught i into a upon twice pi x cube now in my previous video i had also discussed what is magnetic moment magnetic moment so the magnetic moment m was given by i into area this is given that the current i into the area so this particular value can be substituted with the magnetic moment so your magnetic field becomes mu naught into magnetic moment upon twice pi x cube now this if i take a two common here mu naught m upon 4 pi x cube this is which is again equal to which is again equal to these are some of the modification that we are doing over here this is again equal to mu naught into twice m upon 4 pi and this is x cube so if you look at here mu naught upon 4 pi this is a constant now we know we know mu naught equals to 1 by epsilon 1 by epsilon naught this is the one is the electros one is the electric susceptibility another is the permeability so this is inversely related mu naught and epsilon naught is inversely related so now further what we can see is the magnetic moment can also be expressed as pe as electric dipole electric dipole if you change the magnetic field into electric field this is electric field electric field so now finally the whole equation is e if you change this e is actually equal to twice pe this is twice pe by 4 pi epsilon naught now this mu naught gets converted into epsilon naught so 
this is p this is 2 that mu naught can be converted into epsilon naught and twice m twice m is your magnetic moment which can be m can be converted into p that is electric dipole under a electric field so this is what we have twice p into 4 pi epsilon naught into x cube so this is the relation that we have now this is our final result but this can be further derived or this can be further we can derive further analogies like we know the electric field on a perpendicular bisector of a dipole electric field on a perpendicular bisector of a dipole see suppose this is your dipole so electric field on a perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector of a dipole this is a perpendicular and this is a bisector of the dipole is given by electric field is given by p e upon 4 pi epsilon naught into x cube this is what we had now when we know that x is a distance from the dipole if we replace now again if we replace p by m and mu naught by 1 by epsilon naught we have b is equal to mu naught m upon 4 pi x cube so this can be interchanged the magnetic and electric field can be interchanged and so we arrive at this particular result that this also behave as a magnetic dipole circular current loop at greater distance at a distance such that x is bigger than r then it also behaves as a magnetic dipole and this is the relation now why did we go to the electric field because we had already proved that in electric field under constant field we have for current for an electric dipole it behaves as a dipole when there are two charges it behaves as a dipole so similarly by using this and comparing this with our magnetic field we can prove that the circular current carrying loop at a greater distance that is x should be greater than r it also behaves as a magnetic dipole.